Well, hello, YouTubers. Getting ready for the uh, inaugural burn on my new uh, foundry. It's uh, sitting over here next to the old foundry. Pardon my shadow. Sitting over here next to the old foundry. The old foundry still works pretty well. It's just starting to fall apart as I knew it would. The ceramic fiber insulation it's lined with is uh, really friable and uh, every time I put a crucible in or out of it, it falls apart. More pieces come off. The lid wasn't done right. Basically, I learned a lot of lessons with the first one and I didn't repeat my mistakes on the second one. The second one is a five gallon uh, pail, steel pail, uh, lined with two inches of ceramic fiber insulation. It's been rigidized with uh, sodium silicate solution and uh, pretty hard. Pretty hard on the inside. So I can uh, run my crucible tongs in and out without tearing parts of the sides off. That helps a lot. Or at least I hope it'll help a lot. Like I said, this is the inaugural run. But you can see how friable that stuff is. It's just blowing in the wind there. And then the lid, I didn't rigidize the bottom because I wanted it to deform and uh, make a seal. But I did rigidize the sides and the inside of the vent hole. So, just to try and make it a little less friable, a little less blowing around in the in the wind. Anyway, I got a crucible in it. There's a plinth in the bottom too. Got a crucible in it with some uh, scrap uh, aluminum turnings, which I'm going to melt down, and uh, we'll see how she runs. The inside diameter is a little larger than this one, so it may not get quite as hot with the single burner, but. I have not been running the burner at anywhere near full power, so I can always crank the burner up. And if necessary, for melting uh, other metals, I'm sure it'll melt aluminum without any trouble, I can always put a second burner in. So I can get it as hot as I want to get it. That's not going to be a problem. So even though it's a little larger in diameter inside, I think it'll get plenty hot. Anyway, let me get it fired up and we'll see how it does. Okay, it's lit. It's burning see how long it takes to melt down that aluminum. I'll time it. And uh, always remember to wear your gloves when you light the foundry. Burnt the hair off the back of my hand because a kind of a uh, little mini explosion came out when it lit. So uh, no harm done other than the hair. Not burned or anything. Just a little scared. So uh, anyway, should have had my gloves on. They're sitting right over there. Duh. And we'll see how it goes. It's burning. Oh, that is getting hot. It's been going for about five minutes now. And you can see how bright that is glowing in there on uh, this side over here. The uh, the burner is, is blowing around that, that way, and we've got a nice swirl going on around the crucible. Beautiful little tornado of fire in there surrounding the crucible. I love it. But the back side over here is the side that's glowing the brightest because that's where the burner's pointing at. And I'll show you some. It's barely warm over here. Five minutes and it's glowing bright orange on the inside. You know, I, it's no warmer than on this side and I think the sunlight's heating that side up more than the burner is. I love, I absolutely love that ceramic fiber insulation. That is great stuff. Two inches of it. Glowing bright orange on one side and barely warm on the other. I love it. And, uh, aluminum uh, doesn't look like it started melting yet, but maybe soon. So, it may take 20 minutes or so. I just wanted to show you that, how well the insulation's working. I like this new foundry already. Okay, it's been 10 minutes. The aluminum in the crucible is starting to soften and slump. It'll settle down. It's probably about half full. I may put some more in it once it uh, settles down. Boy, there's a lot of heat coming out of that hole. Um, 10 minutes now. A little warmer. I wouldn't want to hold my hand on there for too long. But it's not sizzling. That is some good insulation. I like it. 
All right, at 13 minutes in, I shut it down briefly, took the lid off, added a little bit more scrap aluminum to it because it had melted and settled down some. I put some uh, Morton Light Salt Flux on it. I had already put a little bit on, but it looked like there was a lot of uh, dross on the surface, so I added a little bit more of that. I'm still experimenting with that stuff. I'm not quite sure how much to use yet. I ought to go pretty sparingly with the borax when I'm melting uh, brass, but uh, the aluminum generates a lot more dross than the brass does. I may have to use a lot more flux than I do with the with the brass, a lot more of the salt than I do the borax. We'll see. Further experimentation will be needed. Anyway, what am I going to do with the old foundry? Well. Probably what I will do is beat out my homemade uh, refractory insulation out of it, get rid of the torn up ceramic fiber insulation, and rebuild it like this one. Then I'll have two. I have two burners. So I can have two foundries. And what I might use one for is as a burnout furnace for uh, molds while I'm melting metal in the other. Then I'll have a hot mold that I can pour the hot metal into. So uh, that's probably where I'm going to go with that. So stay tuned for that. I mean, it was a really simple and quick to build this second foundry, and it should be really simple and quick to rebuild the first one. And uh, I'll have two great working foundries, I hope. Okay, that went really well. It took about 18 minutes to melt all that aluminum. It's even stopping at 13 in and adding more aluminum to the crucible and some more salt. Uh, there's the pile of dross down there with some aluminum that I'll collect and put back in the crucible. There's three nice shiny ingots and they're still molten. I have to wait for them to solidify a little bit before I turn them out of the muffin pan and quench them in water. But 18 minutes, that's pretty quick. This thing uh, actually heats up quicker than I expected it to. I thought with the larger internal volume, it may take longer to get up to temp, but uh, no. That was good. That worked nicely. And um, my uh, crucible tongs worked really well, getting the crucible in and out of the foundry with the larger inside diameter. So that was great. I could probably even put a bigger crucible in there in the future. So everything went really well. I'm pretty happy with it. So, next project, redo the old one the same way. And I'll have two nice foundries. Or at least a foundry and a burnout furnace. So, thanks for, wa thanks for watching. This is, uh, this is working out great. I should have done this to start with rather than wasting all that time playing with homemade refractory mixes. Just uh, go with what you know works. Get some, you know, ceramic fiber. It's not that expensive. Kaowool. That's what it is. Kaowool. Got it off of Amazon. Not terribly expensive for a roll of it. So, you know, time is more valuable than money. I wasted a lot of time working on various homemade refractory mixes. So, I saved a lot of time rebuilding the thing. So, as far as I'm concerned, I saved a lot of money. Anyway, thanks for watching. More from the Backyard Foundry in the future. Bye.